Back to action here at top of the fourth inning. Again, no score. Selznick back on the bump. Selznick has allowed only one hit through three innings. Seven strikeouts. Two batters reach base, one on the error. Kiernan straight swings at the first pitch he sees for a strike. Selznick. Kiernan reached on an error in the first inning. A fielding error on the first baseman did not handle the throw. Cannon was stranded at first, but Gagne struck out in the inning. Selznick with the pitch. Just a bit outside. Tried that outside corner and missed. I don't know where Alberto was on that play, but that pitch looked closer than it was. Again, Selznick. Seven out of the nine outs by way of the K. The pitch, strike two. So Jeff Selznick on his game. Great showing for the Thunder. They really needed some pitching. He looks to be a keeper. He locks and delivers. Strike three called. Alex didn't even wait. Okay, a little controversy here. Okay, no controversy. Strike three looking. Alex Samaras makes the call. Selznick has his eighth strikeout of the game. And that's his fourth strikeout looking. A little confusion there. Alberto likes to have a little fun. That's what we like in this league is to have fun. We got one down. Gagne up. He ended the first with a strikeout swinging off Selznick. He'll try to redeem himself here and see if he can get a, a piece of something. And test this Thunder outfield out a little bit. Tries to break one off, doesn't break, stays inside. Up high for a ball. Selznick, the quick worker, and the pitch. Ball two, Gagne was not biting. It's Gagne or Gagne. Sure, here in the United States, it's Gagne. We'll have to find out his background. Selznick with the pitch. Uh, now he got a 3 0 count. We'll see exactly what Gagne does here. Three balls and no strikes. I know it's a preseason game. So if he sees one he likes down the middle, I'm sure he'll be swinging. As opposed to a regular season game where you get his arms broken if you swung at a pitch on three and no count. He's been threatened before, I see. Did not bite. So Gagne walks on four pitches. A one out walk issued by Selznick. Samaras comes out to talk to Jeff. See how he's feeling. Wolf had a solid single in the left field last time he was up. He let off the second with a single and he was stranded at first base. Let's see what he can do with a runner on first. He's going. Gagne is down and he's safe. Throw is not in time. Gagne steals second base. Puts Wolf in a position now to drive him in. One out. So one out steal. Gagne at second. Wolf at the plate. Again, Wolf has the only hit against Selznick today. He also has a hell of a catch in foul territory. To end the, the second inning. Pitch, he goes opposite way, it's up in the air, and it's gonna drop. Gets by the right fielder. Gagne on his way to third base, there won't be a throw. And it's first and third here now with one out in the fourth inning. So now we'll see what Selznick is made of. We know it's preseason here, and we don't know how many pitches he's got so far. 
Uh, this is preseason action, and I know, I'm know i pretty sure it's his first time out. So Wolf comes through again, this way, go, this time going the opposite field. Pushing Gagne over to third. Gagne would have scored on the play, but it was kind of in between. Had to wait for it to see if it was going to drop or if he had had to tag up. Ferrara steps in, he struck out swinging in the second inning. He has a chance right now to do some big damage. The pitch is a strike, 0 and 1. He's got Gagne at third, Wolf at first, Ferrara up here with one out. Top of the fourth inning for the Brewers. The pitch has a long five ball going foul and can't make a play. It's Ferrara down on the count, 0 and 2. Long chase for that one. We'll have a second to catch our breath here. Wondering if that was a hit and run. Wolf was on the move from first base. It was a bad pitch and up and in in the zone. Ferrara stuck with it if it was a hit and run. If not, I don't know what they were trying to do. And the situation calls for uh, steal, I would say, and some pressure on the Thunder. Wolf got a nice little lead at first. Gagne a couple steps off at third. Selznick to the set, steps off, no throw to first. Wolf is back. Gagne stands his ground at third. Ferrara digs back in. Selznick takes a look. He's up to the set. And the pitch, Wolf's on the move. Strike three, swinging. Wolf will steal second base easily. So Ferrara strikes out for the second time. That's the second out of the fourth inning. We've got two outs, runners at second and third. And ben Gatani, the pitcher, he struck out in the second inning. He's got a chance to help himself here with a little single. A little single would do it. Looks to score two runs here with two outs. Good lead for Wolf. There's a swing fouled off to the opposite field, strike one. Oh, look over to second base. Wolf had a walking lead towards third base. He was almost halfway there. Wolf again. He's got about a seven foot lead and he's walking towards third. Pitches up and in. One ball, one strike to Gatani. We'll see if he can come through here with two outs in the fourth inning. We have no score so far. Katani looks at another strike. One ball, two strikes now. Good pitch by Selznick. See if he can get out of the inning unscathed. Selznick not paying attention to the runners. Shakes off Samaras. Gives him the okay. Steps off the, play, the mound. A little cross confusion between Samaras and uh, Selznick. Selznick gives the okay. He's in the wind up and the pitch. Up high, evens the count, two and two. Again, Wolf with a huge lead. Just keep sidestepping towards third base. He's gonna easily score on anything that gets out of the infield. Selznick with the pitch. Swing and a base hit by Gatani. Gagne scores. Wolf being waved in around third. He'll score. Two nothing Brewers on a two out single by Ben Gatani, helping his own cause. Selznick loses that battle. He's had a great game so far. So two runs are in here in the fourth. And the Thunder Trail, two nothing. Gatani coming up big. Nice little single right through the shortstop, third baseman area. And Jason Provost now steps in. Provost was robbed out by the left fielder earlier in the game. That would definitely have been extra bases. 
And that one's up and in and hits Provost right on the wrist. Doesn't even rub any dirt on it. He's on his way to first base. Katani moves up to second. Provost gives a little look at the wrist and uh, I think he's going to be okay. So Wisner steps in. He had a single in the third inning. Selznick takes a look at second and fires to Samaras for a ball. Selznick looks, fires, low 2-0. Selznick looks to be a little tired here. See how long he'll throw for. He sets, fires. Katani's on his way to third. Samaras throws down. He's safe. He takes third base. Provost does not move up. First and third here with two outs now. Wisner here, chance to add on to the damage here in the fourth. Little two out damage. All started with a one out walk to Gagney. And the pitch, Provost on the move, swing and a miss. The throw is in a center field. Provost to move up to third base. Gatani scores three to nothing, Brewers. Maybe Samara should have eaten that one. So that's an error on the catcher, Samaras, a bad throw in the center field. Katani scores. And on the error, Provost moves up to third base. And Wisner still has a chance to do some damage. The pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Selznick does it himself, but not without damage. Brewers scored third, three runs here in the fourth inning. And they take a three to nothing lead. Coming up for the Thunder, at the top of the lineup, Brian Kelly, Heffernan, and Jeff Selznick. 